Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a very special pen, as you can see, it is a Visconti. This is special because this is a pen that I have been lusting after for two years now. I believe that this pen wasn't going to be available brand new and Marco at Novelli set himself a very high challenge for 2019 to go and get one for me and I think I didn't set him a challenge high enough because he came back and fulfilled the challenge pretty darn quickly so let me unbox this pen this is the most heaviest Visconti box that I currently own and I own a number of very very heavy Visconti boxes as I'm sure you can tell. So it comes in this lovely felt like drawstring bag and I've had some like this before but not in this colour. Uh, it says Visconti here. The writing renaissance. Let me remove the drawstring bag and you will see why this is so special. Look at that box. So this box has a 2D palindrome on it. You can see here. And I'll go more into this in the full review of this video. This is just a quick unboxing, so I'm not going to go in and, and ink the pen up, do a writing sample, and do everything that I normally would do in a full unboxing review. But I wanted to show you this pen because it is a very, very special pen. Now this is a very solid, heavy box and it has uh, what is effectively granite or stone here, a uh, stone plaque and this really is lovely but let me show you what's really, really inside this box. There you go. This is one of the Templar pens, and there's a number of Templar pens uh, from Visconti. Uh, this is the Jacques de Molay, and Jacques de Molay was the last Templar in existence. And sadly, he was burned on the stake. Now, this comes with a number of things here. So let me just remove the shelf. It comes with the warranty card and a guarantee. But most importantly, it comes with the pen and it comes with this lovely sword and dagger and also a ring as well. So, I'm going to do a number of things here. I'm going to show you the ring first. And this is the lovely ring can see there. Now if I put it on my hand you'll see just how <laughs> large a ring that is. It is a mammoth ring and it is a very very heavy ring uh, but uh, it's a gorgeous ring uh, so I do do like that a lot. Uh, so that's a Templar ring. You have this lovely dagger or sword So, let's have a look at this here. And it's really more of a letter opener, but that is, it's actually quite sharp. But look at the, the detail on that sword. And that is absolutely stunning. And I have other letter openers and swords like this in my collection, uh, but this is certainly uh, one that uh, I will be cherishing because it came with the pen itself and it's actually very weighty uh, I don't know if this is made of silver I believe so uh, the pen itself is made of silver and this is the pen the Jacques de Molay and I will show you here and I rotate it it is a gorgeous gorgeous pen
lovely, lovely stunning pen. It's very weighty. And it is a power vac filling system. You have the Visconti finial here. And then you have here the limited edition number of the pen. But what I really do love about this is this lovely, lovely silverwork material that's, that's going on here. And this kind of reminds me of my Camelot pen that I have. But, as I said, this is a power vac filling system. However, you unscrew the filling knob here. And that is the filling knob that you pull out. And it's not inked. But you can see there how exquisite this is. So this really is a special pen. And you can see why that I really wanted to get this pen. It's a pen that I have been lusting after for a couple of years. I have had a number of offers of similar Templar pens. There's a number of pens uh, in the Templar series from Visconti. Some of them are more plain on the body and the cap, so you don't get all this chainmail and sword-like effect going on here. And then there's some... There's this one, and then there's another one where the, the cross has uh, rubies, red rubies uh, in there. And then there's a, and that's obviously quite an expensive, even more expensive pen than what this is. And then there is an even more expensive pen, which is solid gold. Uh, I decided to go for this silver finish, and it is solid silver, AG925. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous stunning pen. Just look at that chainmail effect that's going on there. And you have Jacques de Molay. And then you have the cross here. And then the underside. It's the, the level of detail here is just exquisite. So this for me is one of these pens that's not a grail pen. This is what I would call a grail of grail pens. And it doesn't have a clip that you'll notice there. And it comes with a 23 carat palladium nib. And I went with a medium nib on this one. You can even see the, the silver decorations around here at the base of the section as well. Uh, it's an ivory color section and end cap and also feed as well and this really is a special pen for me it's a beautiful stunning pen and a pen that is actually probably going to go very nicely alongside my Visconti Camelot and also my Visconti my Visconti Medici Il Magnifico and they are two very special pens in my collection as well and pens that I would almost call grail of grails but not quite uh, they're definitely grail pens but this for me is a grail of grail pen it's uh, so so stunning so I'm really glad that I've had the chance to pick this pen up uh, it's a special pen it's a birthday pen for me uh, I decided that I would uh, uh, buy a special pen for my birthday and this was it so i'm really glad that uh, marco has managed to be able to pick one up here from visconti brand new and uh, i am really really liking the look of this pen it's a gorgeous gorgeous pen so there you have it that's a quick unboxing of the visconti jacques de molay thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.